everyone welcome back to the homestead i am so excited today because i'm outside behind my youtube studio the kids are swimming we're enjoying a beautiful day and for the longest time i have not been able to go thrift shopping and i was able to do so a few days ago and i have a few things that i want to share with you all that i purchased over there so let's get started If you're new here, my name is Yami and I am your Latina next door. I'm sure you guys are wondering what the progress is on the YouTube studio and Nelson and I have started doing electrical work on the inside, mostly him, I'm his assistant, and um, we've got a couple of other things going on. So stay tuned. Once all of that rough and kind of stuff gets done, we'll be sharing more videos about it. If you don't know what the YouTube studio is and why we're even having one right now, I'll go ahead and post the YouTube studio video in the links below, as well as the big announcement video as to why it is that we have got to get this started before the house. Now, because our house is still not built and we don't have a lot of space, I really haven't been thrift shopping in months this entire year i haven't thrifted and it is something that i really do enjoy i love finding unique little treasures just nice things that i can add to my home at an affordable price so a little bit ago we went to go visit my parents for a few days nelson had to go back to georgia for some business meetings and we wanted to just go ahead and spend some time with my parents while nelson was doing that so I thought it would be a great time to hit some of my mom's local thrift stores. She actually has some pretty good ones. And the kids and her and I all went and spent a whole day thrifting. We went out to dinner afterwards and we just had a really nice time. So I'm gonna be sharing some footage of our outing and so you can see some of the thrift shop and consignment places that she has right about, not even 10 minutes from her house, I would say. So. It was nice to get out, spend some time with my mom, who, um, you know, she's doing okay. I know a lot of you guys ask about her health and how she's doing. You know, she's recovering. She's a little delicate. She's got a few episodes here and there. She's still undergoing her cancer treatment. But, um, but it's nice to get to take her out and do something fun like this. It had been a long time since we had been thrift shopping and it's something that my mom and I thoroughly enjoy. So I'm gonna take you guys shopping and share some footage of the places we go and all the beautiful things that we got to see while we were there. And then I'm gonna be sharing the things I purchased from those locations. I also have a couple of things that I've had for a little while, just maybe two or three items that I had purchased last year that I never got to share with you guys. And I thought, since I don't have a lot to make a video just of those items, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in here as well. You'll see that there's gonna be a recurring color that's gonna pop up. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's just been a while since I have purchased anything from a thrift store. So it was really nice to get out and do something that I thoroughly enjoy. So for the first location, it's actually just a thrift store, not like a consignment store. And it's a really special thrift store because all the proceeds go to helping battered women and their shelter. And it's really nice. And they always have beautiful things in this place. It's probably like one of my favorite ones.
for the first thing that I purchased in this thrift store is this round basket. I love it. It was one of the first things that caught my eye. It only cost me $6 and I thought it would be really nice to put maybe toiletries or hand towels in there once we get our bathroom done in the YouTube studio. So I thought it was very nicely made. It had wood handles. It has no imperfections or damage to it. And I thought for $6, it was a pretty good deal. The second item is also a basket and this one only cost me $1, but I love the fact that it's nice and long. And all I can think about was serving a fresh dinner rolls at the dinner table, you know, just put a little towel in it and wrap the dinner rolls up. I just think it's a perfect basket to serve items like that, or maybe muffins for like a brunch. It's just really sweet. And for a dollar, I could not pass it up. The next item that I got was this really pretty candlestick. It's brass and I have been really attracted to golds and brasses lately. It's the color that you're going to see being repeated throughout this thrift haul. I am just really into it. I don't know what it is. Tell me if you are loving it lately as much as I am. But I particularly like this candlestick because most of the brass ones that I find are for tapered candles, not pillar candles. And at only $3, I just could not pass it up. I think it's going to be beautiful on a bookshelf or on a side table. The only thing I regret is that it doesn't have a second one. I looked around the store to see if there was two, but I only found the one. Now I was on the hunt for a gold type frame for a particular print, and I'll tell you more about that. But I found this frame at this thrift store for only $2. And I don't need the insert where it has the three individual picture frames, but I do wanna place this beautiful print that I received from one of my neighbors who happens to be an amazing artist. She gifted this to me soon after we moved in to the property and um she used to paint actually she still does but all of her artwork in her home is hers she painted it if it's up on the wall it's an original and she used to sell digital prints as well as her originals but she's kept several prints and one of them that just caught my eye when i was looking through her collection was this little print and so she was like hey you can have it and i have cherished it ever since and i've been looking for the perfect frame for it and i think this frame is going to be perfect for this little frame and I can't wait to see it up in my YouTube studio after it's all said and done either on a wall or on a shelf I'm not sure yet but I just think they both pair very nicely the last thing I actually don't have here but I did share on my community tab with you guys and it is that beautiful antique high chair let me tell you the story about this <laughs> so I saw it in the thrift store and I absolutely loved it and it was listed for $40, which I thought was pretty decent considering the condition of the high chair. And if you compare it to high chairs that are, you know, brand new now, they're a lot more expensive. So it was a really good deal. Now, Nelson was in meetings all day, I told you, while we were out. And I wanted to make sure he was cool with me getting it just because I didn't know if he you know, just wanted something new or not. Also, we couldn't take it back home with us because we didn't have enough space in the car. We weren't in Nelson's truck. So I thought, you know, I text him, see what he thought. And then if he was cool with it, then I would go ahead and purchase it. The problem was, is that he didn't get back to me and we had to leave. And then eventually the thrift store was going to close. So I said, okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and go. I haven't got, I haven't heard back from Nelson and I don't want to go ahead and preemptively just buy this and then it just not be something that, you know, we both are in agreement on. And Nelson always gives me, you know, free range to just make purchases for the home. He's always very supportive, but I just wanted to make sure that we were on the same page for this high chair. So I asked the lady, I said, what time are you guys open tomorrow? And she says, you know, we open up at 10. So I said, perfect. I told my mom, I said, if it's meant to be, if God wants me to have that high chair, then it'll be here in the morning. Cause there was only about an hour and a half left till the store closed and we had to go to the next thrift store. So we left and you know, we left it at that. While we were at the next thrift store, Nelson ends up calling me back and telling me that it was totally cool. I could have gone ahead and got it. But by that point it was already past closing time for that thrift store. So I just told him I'd just come back the next day. The following day, we were supposed to leave that day at noon to avoid traffic because it gets really congested and 
our trip back home was going to take so many more hours than what it would have if we had left after 12 o'clock that afternoon. So we were set to leave to come back up here at noon. My mom and I pull up shortly after 10 o'clock that morning to go see if the high chair was there. And we noticed that the parking lot was empty. And I'm like, but there's nobody here. This is really weird. And so I go up to the door and I see a sign that says, we are sorry for the inconvenience, but due to unforeseen circumstances, we're going to be opening at one today. And I was like, great, we have to leave at noon. I won't be able to come back. So my mom was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll come back, me and your dad, and we'll come back at one. If it's here, we'll get it for you. And then you could just, we'll just keep it at our house until you can come back and pick it up. Obviously, I don't need it right this moment. So, you know, we're like, okay, that works. We left at noon, just like we were supposed to, to avoid, you know, the worst traffic. And about an hour and a half into our trip, my mom texts me and she says, no worries. We got the chair. It was still there. It's at home now. We wiped it clean and, you know, pick it up whenever you come back down. So long story short, I was able to get that high chair. It's waiting for me at my mom's house and I can't wait to refinish it and have it here. Um, once the YouTube studio is done. So it'll be a while before I get to refinish it, but at least I know that it's at my parents and it's safe. And I guess it was meant to be. So here we are at the next thrift store. And this one's more like a consignment store. There's some thrifty prices in here, but then there's also some, you know, more expensive pieces. And there are a lot of booths that have, you know, really nice vintage and antique items. And some of them go for a pretty good, you know, penny. So we were enjoying this time. And one thing that I have been wanting to find is a blue and white, you know, dinnerware set. And I have seen a few, but, you know, they're usually missing pieces. Or if they're real, you know, vintage, then they're really expensive. And I was kind of looking for something a little classic, something that looks a little bit nicer than your average everyday dishes. But at the same time, you know, if it broke or something, it wasn't that expensive and I wouldn't feel so bad. And looking around, I found this dinnerware set, 12 place setting. And it's not really vintage. It isn't anything antique or anything like that. And I'm okay with that, but it has a simple border. And the amazing thing is that it had 12 place settings. I have an eight setting dining room table. There's a five of us. And I always like to have like an eight place setting just because if we have anybody over, I don't want to run out of plates with just a six piece setting. So when I saw that this had 12 settings and it's only missing one teacup, unfortunately, but that's okay. This is great because I have my eight piece settings and if I accidentally break one or, you know, I will always have extra and the entire set cost me $55. That's 11 teacups, 12 saucers, 12 salad plates, 12 plates, and 12 bowls. And I just, you know, love the simple pattern on the edges. I love that they don't all have the same pattern. The teacups and the bowls have the nice blue line. And I figured, okay, this is going to be great. Now, there are a few scratches on some of the plates. This is one of the worst ones, to be honest with you. But I figure if it's going to be an everyday plate, it's, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And again, for 12 place settings for 55 bucks, and I was able to find something blue and white that's very classic. It doesn't have any particular style. It can go so well. I just thought this was coming home with me, and I totally could not pass this one up.
other item that I got at this particular um, place was this hand um, egg beater. I have been looking for one of these for a while and they had several, but a lot of them have, you know, they tend to have a little bit of rust on them. This one was actually in pretty good shape. It turns perfect and it only cost me $12, which I thought was a great deal. And now I get to have one of these in my kitchen. I'm so excited to even, you know, use it or even just have it displayed most of the time. But I just, I've been wanting one really bad and I'm glad I was able to find this one with a black handle because a lot of them have really bright handles too, I've noticed. And that just would kind of clash a little bit, but the black handle is perfect and neutral. So I picked this one up as well. So while we were checking out and we were wrapping all of these plates up, my mom looks behind the counter and she sees this fork and this spoon hanging behind the counter. And it's just so charming. And she asks the, um, cashiers, you know, how much was the set? Cause they came in a set and they said $18. My mom was like, Oh my gosh, it's going to look so cute in your cottage. We have to get it. I'm going to buy it for you. So she ended up gifting it for me. She purchased this set of fork and spoon. And the amazing thing is, is that these are actually metal. These aren't wood, even though they look like it. So when we touched them, we were like really surprised, but she wanted to um, get me something for the little YouTube studio. And I think these are going to look just darling in the kitchen area. And I just, I just love how they look. For the next location, it was also kind of like a little consignment slash thrift place because I don't think that everything there belongs to individual vendors, but then there are definitely, you know, specific booths, <laughs> if you will. Now this one, one of the items that I will share was from a previous purchase from last year that I mentioned earlier in the intro. And I bought it from this location, but just not this time. However, I had them here and I thought, this would be a perfect time to share that one too. Since I had bought that dinnerware set at the previous location, I saw these three little bowls and I just had to get these. These were three alone by themselves. They're not antique or anything, but they were three little bowls for $4. And I thought it would be perfect for like salsas or dips or anything like that. And they matched the set that I had just purchased. I don't have to necessarily use it with them, but if there's something that we're eating that needs some kind of dip or some kind of you know, just um, condiments or anything else that I can place on the table. I think these would be perfect for that. So I got these three for only $4. The other thing that I purchased on this um, particular visit was this adorable milk glass bottle with a cap that screws on. I had never seen anything like it. And it was either eight or $9. I can't remember. Maybe it was nine, but I love the twall like print on the front of it. Again, it's that classic blue and white that I love so much. And it was milk glass and it was a bottle. And I think it would just look lovely in maybe a bathroom, like with some lotion in it. I don't know, but I just could not pass this one up. It was really unique and I know I can use it. 
Now, the items that I have found here in this location, but in the previous shopping trip, was this letter opener and this magnifying glass. I don't remember though how much it cost me. I definitely know it was in the $16 or $18 range for the set because I know I wouldn't have spent more than $20 for it. <laughs> but I found these. These are that beautiful gold or brass color. And I thought, oh my goodness, on a book, on a shelf, on a desk, I thought these would be perfect and you know they're in great condition and i thought they just would be another lovely addition to accessorize the youtube studio you know around the fireplace area or maybe on a bookshelf or side table i just thought they were just so pretty and i just had to bring them home when i found them now that's it for this particular trip however i do have a few more items from last year that i have had for a while and i have not been able to share with you all First off is this lantern. Again, with the gold, <laughs> it's beautiful. This one is a little pricey for at $21, but it was at a consignment shop when I was invited to speak at a conference um, last year in South Carolina. I brought this back with me and I thought it was great for every day. It's also great for like Christmas and holidays because you can put like a small little Christmas tree in there, put lights or fill it up with really nice ornaments. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I had to get it. It's really unique. I love the glass. It has a little bit of an imperfection, but it's not broken or anything because when I rub my finger on it, it's not sharp. So um, I'll just probably put that towards the back but I really think this is gonna be a really nice addition to my home decor. The other thing I picked up during that time was this cute little vase with a lid. I don't know if you would call it a vase, maybe it's a container, I'm not sure, but it does have a lid and it's adorable again. It's only $8, it was in really good condition. I think it's perfect to style alongside a book, on a bookshelf, on a side table, I don't know, but I think it's really lovely. It's got a nice silhouette to it. It's useful if I wanna put anything inside of it. And of course it goes with the rest of my gold touches throughout. So I really love this little piece and I'm glad I picked it up for only $8. The last three items were just from random little stops at Goodwill. My daughter and I stopped at Goodwill when we came back up here and I came across these frames. Now each of these frames are only $2 a piece and I love that obviously they're very well made and I was able to get six of them that are all exactly the same. And I thought, how wonderful would it be is if I can create a gallery wall with these. Now I'm not fond of the mahogany color, I will say that, but I figured if I paint them black or gold, or what if I paint them black and add a little bit of um, rub and buff on the edges to kind of you know make those stand out, I am not sure what I'm gonna do with these, but, I just thought it was great to be able to find some quality frames that all look the same and were so many of them because you know you can always go to somewhere like dollar tree and get them for dollar 25 but they're honestly not the same quality and then if you go looking for quality frames like if you go to hobby lobby they're like 30 dollars for an 8 by 10 frame and even at 50 percent off that's still 15 dollars a frame and if i want to get six of them you know, do the math and it's going to be a lot of money, but only $12 for six frames. They're real wood. And I figured that I can just make a really beautiful gallery wall out of them in um, either the YouTube studio or even in the permanent home. I also picked up this book and I love picking up thrifted books because first of all, they're cheap. They're great for, you know, decorating your home and stacking or putting them on bookshelves or creating different heights on, you know, different vignette settings. But I also do try to find interesting ones. I don't just buy them for the cover. I also like to buy them for the content. And this book, I read the insert. It sounded a little interesting and I thought, okay, well, if I ever want to read it, I'll know it it's probably going to be entertaining because I don't like to buy decorative books just to have them and then they not be useful because yeah, I just, I just don't, I just don't buy random books. I like to actually look at not only what they look like on the cover, but also what they have inside in case I do want to read it and it'll be something that I'll actually enjoy. Another really random little piece that I had picked up on like a, 
you know, Goodwill run. Again, this was last year. Was this cute little brass bell? It's so tiny. It's so cute. It's so imperfect. And I love the way it looks because it looks like it's just handcrafted. And it's so inexpensive at a dollar. You know, I just had to pick it up. This was just so cute. Again, you can use it for styling on books, on a little corner, on a shelf. I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll use it to call Nelson when I have the baby and I need him to help me with something. I don't know. <laughs> it does work. But I thought it was another really cute addition to the space. And of course, at that price, I just could not pass it up. So that is it for today's haul. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. Which one of these items was your particular favorite and why? I always love to hear that. Or you can also let me know which one you thought was the best deal. I am really trying to be more thoughtful whenever I, you know, pick up things at thrift stores or any kind of store. I want to make sure I'm just not bringing in things just for the sake of it. I want them to look unique. I want them to look special. I want them to mean something and I want them to serve a purpose as well. Obviously not everything that I purchase has a practical use. You know, there are decorative aspects to a lot of these, but I just want everything to look curated in not only my YouTube studio, as well as my future home. And, you know, I, over time you kind of, you know, start thinking, and looking at things a little differently. And I just think, you know, bringing special pieces like this from a different locations and just kind of putting it all together to work together. You know, even though they all can have different looks or styles or come from different times, that eclectic look that looks perfectly put together, even though it's all kind of different. I really do like that. And I want to be able to work more on that and show you guys, you know, how everything is kind of evolving in my head and how I want it to show up when the YouTube studio is done. So yeah, I think that's everything. I hope I didn't miss anything. I appreciate you all watching as always. Thank you so much for being here. You guys make this channel possible. I am so glad to be back. Don't forget July 23rd, I will be doing my first crafting video since moving up here. I am not ready to do a lot of crafting videos, but I am joining some amazing people at the end of the month to do Christmas in July. I can't wait to share some of my ideas for that and give you guys a sneak peek of how I'll be decorating the YouTube studio for Christmas this year and like the colors and stuff. So I'm excited for that. And I hope you guys are too. So that being said, I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. So until then, adios.